Before the start of this video, I would just like to say a huge thank you to all my supporters across all platforms. Without your support, videos like the one you're about to watch would never happen. So huge thanks to each and every one of you. In this video, I will be looking at what makes skill rolling so hard. Let's learn about difficulty grades. My name's In Wills. And welcome to the in crowd. Hello and welcome back. You have stumbled across another one of my short rule videos. So in these videos, I share with you some rules from the Mithras rule set in a short and succinct and concentrated form. The idea of these videos is to get the rule across to you all so that you can get it quickly implemented into your games. In my previous Mithras rules video, I talked about the different types of skill rolls and thank you to everyone who watched the video and interacted with it. It was fantastic to hear what everybody had to say in the comments and thanks for all those likes and for those who watched right the way to the end of the video. I am currently trying to work on increasing the watch times in my videos ready for when I get a thousand subs and I can monetize my content. So any support to increase watch times would be gratefully received. And in order to entice you to keep tuned right to the end, I'm going to share with you right away at the end of the video what I think is a rarely used skill rule. OK, let's get on with talking about difficulty grades. So every character or monster or NPC in Mithras have skills and we roll a 1d100 to see whether or not that skill was successful or not. Remember, you would need to get the skill score or less to make sure it succeeded. But there are times when the chances of success may be influenced by other conditions. For example, Say the character is searching a library for some very rare information or a character is trying to run across the rooftops in the pouring rain or even icy conditions. To reflect these more difficult times, you will need to use a range of difficulty grades. So there are the following difficulty grades available in the Mithras rule set. So the first one is automatic. This is when no skill role is required to see whether or not the skill has been successful. And thank you to everybody who referred to this because I missed it off in my last video. Now, after automatic, we have very easy and then easy. Then we have standard, the default difficulty grade, then hard, formidable, Herculean, and finally hopeless. And hopeless means that no attempt can be made. Now notice that hopeless actually says no attempt can be made to see whether or not the skill is successful. The reason be for this is because a roll of 0, 1 to 0, 5, 1 to 5 percent is always a success. So when I'm writing my adventure notes, I write two things down um, that relates to the difficulty grade. The first one is the actual difficulty grade if it's different to a standard roll. So I might say that this information to be found about in within history is going to be a formidable role. The other thing that I sometimes write down in my adventures notes is the increase or decrease in the difficulty grading. So I might say if the party um, have found this piece of information already, then the difficulty grade will be decreased by one level. 
So how do we work out the modifiers for these dif different difficulty grades? Well, before I mention that, please consider liking, commenting and subscribing to the channel. I produce regular videos about Mithras, as well as actual play sessions, personal vlogs and videos about GMing in the series, which is one of my favourites, The Gibbering GM. So why not subscribe and press that bell button so you get a notification when the next video goes live. Also, if you would like to provide some extra support, then the link is in the, my, in the description below this video for my Patreon and Ko-fi account. On the Patreon account, you can actually choose certain tiers that will actually get, give you access to my adventure notes from all the Mithras and M space adventures that I play. Okay then, without further ado, let's get back to difficulty grades. So Mithras, provides two methods to alter the skill value according to difficulty. We actually use in our campaign the first one, but we do actually cheat a bit and I'll tell you why in a moment. So the way to think of difficulty grades is that at every difficulty there is a bonus or a negative modifier implemented to the character's skill. So if the difficulty grade is very easy, then this, the character will be rolling double the skill value. So if I had a skill of 50%, then with a very easy roll, my skill would actually be double that 100%. Now, with, very e with easy rolls, you take half the skill value and add it on. So normally, standard, my skill roll would be 50%. But if the difficulty is easy, then I'm taking half of 50%, 25, adding it on. So my skill is now 75% for that roll. Now, if you are hard, um, so remember standard, there's no adjustments at all. Hard, you reduce your skill by one third. Formidable, you reduce it by one half and Herculean, you take one tenth of the skill. So let's see what this is like in practice, shall we? So say the character, as I mentioned before, has a skill of 50. So if the skill is going to be easy, then their role for their, sk their skill level will be increased to double that, which would be 100%. Remember, then a roll of 96 to 100 always fails. OK, so if the difficulty is easy, like I mentioned before, it will be half the skill added onto it. So 50, half of 50 is 25. So the new skill roll for this instance will be 75. A hard roll would go down to 34 because we're reducing it by one third. Formidable would the skill would now be 25 because we're reducing it by one half one half of 50 takes it down to 25 and finally herculean means that you reduce the skill to one tenth of the original skill so if the skill was 50 then you reduce it to one tenth so in order to, <coughs> to succeed in a herculean attempt it would only be five percent now, as I mentioned before, we use this method. However, we've become very lazy because if you're running your game on a virtual platform like Roll20 that we use, the skill rolls are worked out for you. We never need to do that calculation. And you can see up here somewhere an example of that. Now, before we look at the other way, I have a question for all you listeners and hopefully somebody can either clarify our rule, how we play it in our campaign, or maybe tell us we've been wrong. So what are your thoughts about rounding dice rolls? For example, when I was talking about the skill of 50%, one third of that is 16 and two thirds. So 
Roll 20 says the score will be 34. So they've taken the 50 and they've reduced it by 16 and they've ignored the um, two thirds. However, if you round up 16 and two thirds, you will get 17 and 50 take away 17 would be 33. So what do you play? Do you round up or down in this instance? For me, I always like to go in favour of the players. Let's face it, sometimes they need all the help they can get. Now, in the core rulebook on page 38, they provide a simplified table for working out difficulty grades within Mithras. So basically, this is based on the idea of adding or subtracting a set percentage. So if the task is very easy, then the player receives a plus 40% onto their skill. Easy, they get a plus 20%. Hard, they get minus 20%. Formidable, they get minus 40%. And Herculean, they get minus 80% to that skill. Now, remember, it is always important to make Mithras your own. So you use whichever system you prefer. And that's it. If you have any other rules that you would like me to explore or talk about within these videos, then please do let me know in the comments below. Oh, and before I forget, that rule that some of you might not be aware of, but we use a lot. In most situations, the difficulty of any spell casting is standard. Although, if the player decides to take minutes over the roll and the casting rather than in seconds, then it actually reduces the skill roll to easy. Did you know that? Very useful for those times when casters have plenty of time to work their incantations or miracles. And that's it. I hope that has provided you with an insight into the difficulty grade with skill roles. So until next time, I hope all your opposed roles are successful and reward you with a well-deserved special. Happy Mithrasing, everyone. See you later. Bye.